Hello YouTube, this is The Bucket coming at you today with my first impressions of the Strikeman system. Uh, the Tanfolio and I were at a gun show and we saw a booth with the Strikeman system uh, that have these little laser pointers on them. And the Tanfolio thought, man, that might be kind of fun to do. And so he picked one up. I believe he paid $100 and he got an extra one of these laser uh, pointers uh, that goes in your gun for another 50 bucks and he took it home and he said the bucket i think you should go ahead and give this a, a look see a once over and tell people what you think so basically what happens is you uh, hook your phone up onto a tripod after you've downloaded the app and then you take the target that is given to you there's a gray one and a white one and this just slides on over the edge like so, of course, the second I want to do it on the camera, it's going to be a little slow to do it on. And then you just uh, mount this up, and then you mount this tripod up as close as you can uh, to the target. And then you put your three batteries. This just looks like a boresight laser, except for they put a little button on here. Uh, they'll go ahead and be detected on the app, which is pretty cool. You go ahead and you put this in your gun. You're not supposed to have a magazine in with it. And then every time you pull the trigger, it goes ahead and it puts a little red dot onto that target. And since your camera on your phone in the app is pointed towards that, it detects all of the information for you. Now, I use my phone uh, as my uh, camera equipment for uh, the channel, so I can't show you the app on here, but I'll go ahead and show some pictures up when I do my editing. So, what the Tanfolio realized when he got home is this system, if you're going to use this system uh, for a striker fire gun, you have to reset the striker every time. So when you pull the trigger and it will tell you seven, they'll tell you what uh, point you got. And uh, then you have to come back and reset it and do again, just over and over and over again, which is can be kind of frustrating. Still really a great way to train for your uh, trigger discipline, your trigger reset. It's a good way to, to be able to do that, but you're you're breaking your shooting grip every single time, and then you're having to come back onto target, which is still good for tra target acquisition. But if you're thinking about buying the Strikeman system, just realize if you've got a striker fire, um, you're going to have to reset that striker, and you're gonna have to practice with that. Now, what got me into looking at this is I just picked up this Astra A100. Now, this gun is a Sig P226 copy, except for it's all steel and they put the takedown on that side. Uh, it is a double action, single action gun. So I can just go boom, 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 boom and practice. And as you guys have heard over and over and over again on the channel, the bucket and the double action do not go well together. So I thought this would be a wonderful, wonderful way for me to practice my double action because when I'm at the range, bang, and then drop the, you know, having to use the uh, decocker and to practice and practice and practice can be kind of difficult. So I went ahead and I set this up um, and it was really pretty easy. It took a little while for me to learn exactly how to get the, uh, the, the screen just right on the target. And I had to adjust and um, put it on the kid table and do a couple of things like that. But from when I opened up the box to when I started pulling the trigger, probably 18 minutes. So really was not hard to do at all. Um, and it started just ringing pretty quick. Uh, it, there's little things that you could do, like it'll make you um, create a profile picture. Um, you could actually put pictures of the gun that you're training with. You can come up with different training sessions on one of them. If you don't set up multiple, you can just hit yell repeat after you're done and it'll set you back up. Um, I found myself doing a lot of the 10 shot drill. You could do a timed drill. Um, there's a lot of different options and a lot of different things that you can play with. Um, as I was doing this, my uh, the baby buckets decided that they were going to come downstairs. And when they started running around down in the basement, um, their noise started to affect the uh, the app a little bit. And it would give uh, false 
uh, ghost phantom shots. So it is pretty sensitive. Now, when the kids were running around upstairs, it wasn't doing it. But when they were running around uh, downstairs, I got some phantom shots. Now, again, you're not paying for bullets. There's, there's just a little laser going off over and over and over again. So, But it does affect your numbers and your training. And it, it's pretty cool. It will then save a picture of what you did. It'll give you a ranking of how you did on your shots. This is a really pretty good uh, deal for some at-home training. Maybe you can't get away that often. Uh, it's a pretty cool system. And one of the things that I didn't really think about was when I started shooting this, I had never, I've never taken this to the range yet. And my point of aim, point of impact is just a hair off. It uh, points a little bit to the left and shoots a little bit to the right. So when I go to the range, I'll know a little bit better how to shoot this gun. So I may be talking to the Tanfolio and seeing if he can uh, go ahead and uh, let me borrow this for a little bit longer. This may be a, a cool training thing and something that I can add to the channel a little bit. This Strikeman may be kind of cool to add a little bit to uh, my different reviews. So if you're thinking about doing the Strikeman, I, I think it could have a real benefit to you. I think that it could be an inexpensive way to train. It was really pretty easy to set up. The app was free to download. It says that you can do it for Apple. You could do it for Android. And maybe when you're when you're a little frustrated or you know when the kids are watching Bluey upstairs, maybe you can go down and do a little uh, dry fire drills and uh, practice that double action. See if you can get a little bit gooder with it. So I want to thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. All the likes, the uh, the comments, the shares, the subscribes are really really appreciated. And as always. You stay classy, YouTube. I learned a lesson. Never half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. <laughs>